Hey. I'm back to last and earth survival. So today is an interesting day because we are going to recycle lots of and lots of blueprints. As you can see, we have here lots of these purple blueprints and that's not it. When we go here to the inbox, we've done a lot of the arena events. And as you can see, we have here also kind of an insane amount of blueprints. Like we can keep scrolling. This is going to be like some sort of an endless pit of these blueprints. So I'm going to take all of these blueprints. We'll go to the bunker alpha and we will exchange all of these blueprints for something. We're probably going to get nothing, but I still want to go there and recycle all that stuff. So to those curious, Syke, why did you keep these purple blueprints here for so long? So the reason why I kept them is because I thought that, you know what? They didn't really take that much space, so it was kind of sad to delete them or recycle them. I also wanted to keep them uh, for what if scenarios. So what if one day developers added some sort of another way for us to recycle these blueprints? Maybe then they'd become useful. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that's ever coming. So that's what we'll do today. But before we recycle all those blueprints, welcome, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There are going to be timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker, like us recycling those blueprints or doing some raids because we also have a raid outside of that base. So maybe, you know what, let's go for the raid first and then we'll start recycling those blueprints. So let's probably get here a few hatchets and let's buckle up buckaroos. That's how we're going to begin this live stream. Or maybe I just should gather the blueprints. Whatever, in any case, we're already going for the raid here. So how are you doing, ladies and gents? How is your Friday? How is your epic, epic Friday doing, going? I think it's Friday. I don't even have to double check. Well, I still double checked it. It is Friday. <laughs> so I did guess it, guys. It is Friday now. Let's go to the resources. Let's get some wood. Let's craft a couple of these basic hatchets and let's skedaddle. When is the Dead Island stream? So maybe today there is a huge question mark. Maybe even today. Stream or premiere? I'm confused. It's a stream. Every stream, like, you might be like, Oh, sick! Your streams are so high quality that I'm not even sure if it's a video or it's a live stream. It is a live stream. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Only here, only right now. Live stream quality is so high that you get it confused with a video. So, uh, let's craft some more hatchets. And I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh, we were talking about the Dead Island. So maybe even today I'll play a little bit of Dead Island during this stream, but I doubt it because we have a really good idea for a last and fellow video, like the recycling those blueprints. Plus, I am going to change the thumbnail <laughs> for one of those epic classic Happy Psych thumbnails where we are in the middle and I'm like extremely, face is like extremely depressed. I'm sad. I'm dead inside and... I just stare there in the camera. I want to create another one of those thumbnails because I think they're hilarious. And uh, yeah, so that's why I don't think we'll add here any Dead Island uh, to live streams today. But maybe in the future, I'll combine Last on Earth with Dead Island live stream. We'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Let's get here a C4. Let's upgrade some of the Glocks here. Let's put some mods and let's go for the first raid of the day. Buckaroos, or should I call Buckle Ups? Buckle Ups, Buckaroos. Yeah, so yeah, uh, Buckaroos. Buckalabs, Buckaroo, and let's go. I'll upgrade these three Glocks. Probably we don't really need that many because it's a revenge raid. Later on, maybe we'll do even a normal raid. But we'll see. I haven't played Last on Earth in three months. That's nice how you're doing. How you're feeling. You probably started seeing the world with vibrant colors again. No black and white. I envy you, mate. I haven't played Last on Earth in three months. Uh, wow, that's insane, actually. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. What's the difference between a normal raid and a revenge raid? For the revenge raid, you didn't have to do any tasks. You just had to raid before and get lucky. So it's like almost a free raid. It's not really free, free raid, but it's somewhat of a free raid. And a normal raid is... A raid that you did tasks for uh, something like that uh, LDOE raid zifty there we go let's get that zifty Ooh, it might actually be a pretty nice uh, raid maybe again can't promise anything I have no idea looks like it's gonna be a good raid oh lord we're about to get profit we're going to get some profit, mate. Uh, what other chests I have to open up? Oof, oof, oof. 
So there are lots of good chests. Maybe I'll even be able to open up all of them. I just want to know which uh, are the good ones. Okay, we go through there, and uh, that's it. I guess so. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually going to be a a, a, a good raid. This is going to be a pretty nice raid. You're trolling us now. Guys, have I ever trolled you? I have never trolled you. At all. Any new content? Uh, where did you get that information from? How do you think there is new content? Does the title say that there is new content? No, Cyric, I just... I just... What? You just... Nobody spoke about anything. There is no new content. Why would you need new content? I don't know, Cyric. You have season 38 and you're not happy with it. Shame on you. What do you mean new content? You have season 38. Be happy with season 38. That's it. To those that watched the previous live stream, you know what I'm talking about. It's a joke, right? It's like a tiny inside joke. Because from now on, we are not asking questions. Oh, where is new content? We are saying uh, that I am happy to have what we have here. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, where is... Uh... Uh... Okay, that's it. We've placed the C4. Is everything great? And yeah, for the research, that's where we gotta go. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's open side. So look at this. We've just entered this base and we have already gotten here a decent amount of Glocks. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a... That's a W. I'd say. What do you think about this raid so far? I think it's definitely a W. Look at this. We've got it some boots. We've got it some other stuff. It's like, next raid, make it blind raid. That's a very silly idea, mate. But I, we've done those blind raids in the past. Just like to use the word silly when I disagree with something. Maybe not even necessarily disagree with something that I don't want to do. So there's that. Look at this! We've gotten even more Glocks! Ridiculous! Totally 10 out of 10 ridiculous. Okay, so let's bring all of this loot back to the chopper. Let's try to... I don't know what we'll do there. We'll probably have to die and bring all of this loot back to the base. To do more. To bring more stuff to the base. I'm gonna check this thing though. Okay, old pickup truck is absolutely empty. Uh, oh, we have also here a chopper that I didn't notice. Okay, let's see if we got anything in the chopper. Nothing. A little bit of fuel, so maybe I will bring some empty bottles from the base in order to steal all of that fuel. So look at this. We've already gotten here eight blocks. Pretty good. Still not enough to kill the big one. We're not going to be killing the big one. If there is a zip gun in this raid, then it's a W. 10 out of 10. Absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. Don't forget to exchange your armor for a new SWAT. Yes, sir. I'll probably open up a few more chests because I want them to spawn here and I want them to kill me. If that even works, does it still work? Some people said that it doesn't work anymore. I know if I trust it, though. So I guess I'll figure it out now. Hopefully this base doesn't disappear because I still have a lot of blocks here. Okay, so we have this only fast biter. Right, we got a deal here with the fast biter. The fast biter is gonna kill us. We'll die and that's it. It works. I did it yesterday. Okay, cool. It still works. It still works. Is Act 3 available yet, says Scorpion? No, Act 3 is not available yet. I have no clue when it's coming out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get rid of this loot that I have here. And let's go. How do I open the port location? Jed's. Port, location, chests. What are you talking about? In the laboratory? Or... Oh no, there's this dude! Guys, did you see that? The floater bloater appeared out of nowhere, kinda. Okay, I'll get this guy. And I'll probably die. There we go, we did it. We did it. That floater bloater dude appeared out of nowhere. He wasn't there, he wasn't there, and then boom, it appeared. Apparently, it was running around the base already for a while. 
Th that's obvious, but I'm just saying that it looked like we killed all of them already, but yet we got another guy. So that is interesting. Bro was waiting for his moment, yes indeed. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, let's get some of these Glocks here. We have to find some space in the box to put them. There we go. Let's put them here. And that's it. Let's go back to the raid. So those that have just joined, welcome to the stream. Currently, we are doing our first raid of the day. And after that raid, we'll probably go and recycle some of the stuff. We'll recycle all those bloopers that we've gotten. How was your day, mate? The day is going great. The day is going buggers. I guess. It's a beautiful day outside. So that's why we are here staying at home and uh, playing some last dinner. It's wild because everybody knows it's a beautiful day. You got to stay at home. It is what it is. That's how it works. Sorry, you forgot to get the bottles. Yikes. I'm sorry, don't forget the bottles to Scorpion, and then Scorpion says, Sorry, you forgot to get the bottles. I'm sorry for forgetting the bottles. My bad. Bottles, sorry, guys, it is too late. I am sorry. I should have definitely taken the bottles. If I had seen that comment earlier, I would have definitely taken the bottles. But I am sorry, I apologize. Mistakes were made. There we go, we did it while well, we dealt with those guys. Now, let's drop some more stuff back in the chopper, and let's continue looting this place. When is fair part two, says Dark. Don't have a slightest clue. Literally don't have a Early stream I see, says Ash Ketchum. Uh... Sometimes I used to stream two hours before that, like two hours earlier than now. I used to stream at 1 p.m. Central European time. Now I started, uh, I started the stream at around 3 p.m. So it's... It's earlier than my last, like, probably maybe 10, 20 live streams, but it's not the earliest I've ever started the stream. But yeah, I agree with you. It's a bit earlier than usual. It is a little bit earlier than usual. Okay, we gotta get the rest of the loot. We will get that new armor later on at the very end, and then we'll see how much space we got, because armor is armor. We don't really need a lot of armor. I mean, I'll take all of the armor that I can, but if we can get guns, I'll get guns instead of armor. I guess that's pretty simple. Okay, more armor in that box. More armor here. Excuse me? This is like an armor raid. More guns! I just realized that. I usually stream at like 8 or 9 p.m. my time. It's 6.30 p.m. Uh, yeah. As I said, it is a little bit earlier live stream today, but... I used to stream at this time all the time for, for a long time. For over a year, I used to stream at this time. Every day. But yeah. Oh no, my guns. The broken. Oh no, I accidentally probably dropped my Glock in the chest, didn't I? In my chopper. Yes, I did. I absolutely dropped that Glock in the chest. Okay, lots of loot. We need to open up now the rest of these chests somehow, some way. Okay, I'll maybe soften some of them. That's a lot of chests, and I don't know which ones will have any good loot. I'll try to open up all of them. Probably. What do you think about that? How about we open up all of these chests? I'll probably start from the bottom chests. As this way... It'll be easier to open up these higher chests than open up the bottom chests. I don't see those bottom chests. I don't know if I damage that chest, but we'll see. Okay, how many more hatches we got? We still have three more hatches. That should be enough. Have I damaged this chest? Yes, I have. More Glocks, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Poggers, Poggers raid. A really good raid. Okay, let's get more armor. So now I'll kind of fill up my inventory to be ready. But, but hear me out. If I get more guns, I will ditch the loot that I have for more guns. 
And I need to have more healing items, which I don't. And I'd like to get more armor, but I don't have space for it. Now, do I? I need a chest plate somewhere. A... A, a, a SWAT chest plate. Uh, nope. Nope, there's just a zip gun. So yeah, somebody spoke of the zip gun. And yeah, this base gets like 10 out of 10 Psyx approval just for that zip gun. Okay, so we'll steal this tactical armor. It's over here in this yellow crate. So we'll have to take it with me instead of like one of those hatches or something. Now let's go here in the very corner. We've got an, just a hat. <sighs> I am ready-ish, kind of. Uh, coupons. So I take them. We have like thousands of coupons at the base. We don't need more. There was a broken scar. We don't need that. Uh, there is another chest plate. It's fine. I don't care about it. More armor. And there are... I still have 12 first aid kit. There's an M16. And there's a Glock. I didn't see guys. It Was that Glock full durability or not? I don't have my leg shot. I'll probably just skedaddle. There's only one more M16 there to take. And I'm already out of first aid kits. I only have like a few first aid kits. And that's obviously not going to be enough. The big one is chasing me. And I do not like that. Maybe I'll try to steal that M16 and that's it. It was half. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Okay, go, go, go. I don't have my sprinting skill. Yikes. Absolutely yikes. Okay, so I'll try to go over here. And I will get that M16. And then I will skedaddle from this raid. That's it. Maybe we could have gotten like another pair of boots, but that's fine. So this raid gets Psyx approval. A really, really nice raid. Almost a full inventory of guns. Plus we've gotten a bunch of armor. Plus we could have maybe taken another, like, as I said, another pair of boots or something. We could have gotten, get, gotten rid of these bold hatchets. But in any case, this raid was a success. I'd give it a... A three, Psyx, right? You'd give this raid a three. I don't know. It's better than a three. <laughs> I know. Give it maybe like an eight and a half even. Eight and a half, nine out of ten. They say ten out of ten raid. And uh, it's not a ten out of ten raid. Because if it was a ten out of ten raid, we'd get full inventory of guns. And I still had... And I've gotten some armor. So it's like eight and a half, nine out of ten. I'd probably give it a nine out of ten. It's a nine out of ten a good raid, but it's not ten out of ten. We have gotten ten out of ten raids before, but... It can't be a ten out of ten. It's a nine. It is a solid nine. Okay, guys. It is a solid nine. I agree. There it goes. So it's a nice raid. It is a poggers raid. What are your thoughts about Dying Light 2 DLC? What? Which DLC? Because they've already re released like some sort of an arena DLC. And I've done it. And Sky Gaming YouTube. There we go. We found a clown, guys, in the chat. The dude says, Bro is never satisfied. Sky Gaming YouTube. What are you talking about? What did you eat today? Who hurt you today in the morning? Bro is never satisfied. I give this raid a 9. Oh my god, Psych, it's a 10 out of 10! How can it be a 10 out of 10 when I got SWAT armor instead of guns and I still brought some of the things back here? It's not a 10 out of 10. Clown emoji in the chat right now. Clown emote. I want to see clown emotes. Right now. Sick and tired. There we go. I've just sent a clown emote in the chat. I did it. I did my part. Kyle Crane as Night Runner. I did not see that DLC yet. I did not see that yet. The Kyle Crane as DLC. I've seen some... Some titles, some thumbnails about Kyle Crane and the Night Runner thing, but I didn't really dig deeper into that. Yes. Bro took it personally, says Sky Gaming YouTube. You literally called me out for saying that I'm never satisfied. What do you mean, I took it personally? You literally told me that I'm never satisfied with the raid when I gave it a 9. You took it personally! You literally said that I'm never satisfied! What are you talking about, mate? What do you mean, I took it personally? Hell yeah, I took it personally! You can't judge the way I raid bases. If I give this base a 9, you have to agree with it. You can't disagree with me in the chat. That's not how it works here, it's not democracy. It ain't democracy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's drop that over here. A 
doesn't matter if it's a nine. Uh, it's a, if it's an eight, nine, or a ten. Most important thing is that Sayak is giving it an approval. I totally agree. I mean, bases that get two out of ten, they get Sayak's approval. But yeah. And yeah, we might actually talk to the raiders to do another raid. Welcome to the state of Sykes' Northern Zombie. Yes, welcome. To the state of Cyrix. There's no democracy. I am democracy here. And if I give that base a nine, it's a nine. Uh, let's drop some things here. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I haven't raided a base in my life. I'm level 111. It's fine, mate. I didn't say anything. It's okay. You're forgiven, mate. You're forgiven. You can go back to... Uh, you can come back in the Cyric land. It's fine. You're accepted. You're forgiven. Okay, so we need to raise three puppies. We need to... Uh, do this task. Oh, apparently we did it now. That's awesome. We also have to go and clear the fourth floor in hard mode, so that's what we'll probably do. I mean, you don't have to clear it in hard mode. We'll just clear it in hard mode because I think it's easier to clear it in hard mode. It's like, will you play Star Wars, says Mr. Prince. I haven't seen a single Star Wars movie. All I know about Star Wars is that probably they fight in the stars. Like, there are some sort of wars in the stars in the galaxy or whatever. That's all I know about Star Wars. I also know that... Uh, someone is someone's father and uh, they fight in the stars but I think I already mentioned that and they have lasers they fight with like laser sabers or something is that Star Wars I don't know that's all I know about Star Wars so the Star Wars Jedi thing that came out I'm not playing it because I never played any Star Wars so I think it would be dishonest for me to play that game if I've, if I've never watched anything about Star Wars um um, okay, we gotta go get ready for the fourth floor. Your mod video is deleted. It's not deleted. It's still there. Cyric mods. Just type LDOE Cyric mods and there will be two videos. Everything is still there. I haven't changed anything. This? Uh, do we have anything else? Can we get something else? Perhaps... Perhaps, ladies and gentlemen. Do we need a VSS? I'll probably save that VSS for more arena events. Right. The more arena events, the better. And let's go for that hard mode fourth floor. You play on blue stacks. I use Mimu player. Okay, that's more than enough guns. There we go. Let's try to upgrade all of them. And let's skedaddle. You probably don't care, but I just logged on my three-year-old... Uh, long lost last on earth account when i was a noob and i looked in one of the chests and i found an atb transmission no idea how i got it whoa that is insane mate that is buggers Good. do we have anything else nope so we're absolutely ready. Welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Welcome, welcome. We have just done a really nice raid. Um, um, yeah, we are ready. No, I didn't take any healing items. We just got in a stack of healing items, which might be enough, but I'd rather get more. The more the better. Right. The more healing items, the better. How to get melee weapons easily for bunker alpha. You either craft crowbars or... Or or you can go to the police department and clear some basic floors, open up some green or brown crates, and you can get some melee weapons that way. But the easiest way to get those melee weapons is just by crafting crowbars. So you farm iron, and I didn't get any food! I keep sitting on and off of that bike. 
There we go. Now we've gotten some food. Let's go, buckaroos. What do you think about port sewers? I think it's hella OP for electronic circuits and filters. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Oh, we don't even have to probably activate hard mode bunker because it's already activated. Fun fact, I am the first guy who commented in this stream, says Darvel. Welcome, mate, to the stream. I think I've said this already like at least six times. <laughs> but welcome, mate. Welcome. Thanks for being the first one in the stream. It's like, will you play Scum Survival again? Yes, there will be more Scum Survival. Maybe even tomorrow. Oh my god, Sarik! Yes. There might be actually a Scum Survival video tomorrow. I kid you not. On your birthday? Yes. I know if I'll stream tomorrow. But there will be a Scum Survival video. Is leather easy to get so I can craft crowbars? I mean, leather isn't... It's not hard and it's not easy to get. It takes a while to get. Like, let's say if you go to a green zone, you have to hunt every single deer that you find. And then you have to dry the leather. So it is a little bit time consuming, but you can get it. It is what it is. So hopefully that answers your question. Say so it's already on hard mode. I think we have cleared the second floor and now we can go to the fourth floor. I should have taken the doggo with me in order to get and open up those special loot rooms. Waiting for Dead Island 2 side quest live streams. Like maybe today we'll do some side quests. I'd really love to do it. It's just that, I don't know. People won't be interested in that, but I want to do a live stream. So maybe even today I'll do that live stream on side quests in Dead Island 2. We'll see, because I'd love to go back to that game. It's just that I know that if we don't play that Dead Island 2 side quests, if we don't play those Dead Island 2 side quests anytime soon, like in the next like few days, then we won't return to that game as it will be pointless. Like all the hype will be gone. So yeah, maybe today at the end of the live stream, we'll go there and we'll do some side quests for about an hour. Maybe we'll see. Can't promise anything though. Maybe. It's like I should do a room tour, dude. Uh, I've done a setup tour video already. So make sure to check it out. Just type Psyx setup tour. Nothing has changed. I mean, some things have changed, right? But it's nothing too crazy. Let's open that up. Let's get here a Glock. How did you get so much loot? I've been playing this game for six years. Almost six years. I mean, it's it'll be six years in about four months, but I'm just gonna say six years. Sounds better. Over five years, almost six years. Four parasites getting destroyed, yes indeed. They're getting annihilated. We got those ones. And also we have just increased our cargo, so I have to probably explain that. So you see those flags close to our numbers? So these are points from the supply event. There we go, that's all there is to it. These are the points from the supply event. Is Dead Island 2 on PS4? I don't know. I, I mean, it should work on PS4. I think it should work on PS4, actually. Dead Island 2, PS4. Is it on PS4? Yes, it looks like it is on PS4. It, it is on PS4. It is available on PS4, I think. Probably. How much money did you spend on the game overall? I genuinely want to know. Okay. That's a nice question.
I already probably answered that question. It's not... It's probably around 300 bucks. And probably 200 of them being just ATV transmission caps things, like uh, the gas station caps. I think. Okay, do I really need to destroy that turret? No, we don't have to do it because it's not the five turrets quest, it's the other quest. Let's add that stuff. Let's run down here. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We also bought two steel rooms, but they were on sale. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they were on sale. That's why I mean it's around probably $300. As I've spent around $200, maybe $180 or something on caps. And uh, the rest were either on some special deals, like those steel rooms. I've also know, I also know that I've gotten like a few season passes. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it, so around 300. Let's get this out. Have you ever changed your hair color? Uh, what? So like, have you ever changed your chair? That's chair. How did I see hair? I just saw hair a bit. Like, I just glanced at the thing and chair looked like hair. Uh, have I ever changed my chair? What kind of a question is that? I've had this chair for a long time. For maybe four years, and I'll keep using it. It is a little bit destroyed, though. It is a little bit destroyed. It lost some of the leather. I don't know what... It's not going to be leather, leather chair. It's like what they call it, like vegan leather or pleather or whatever. So the seat itself got used a lot. It's like, show us. I can show you. So the seat itself... Oh, man. Here. Got destroyed, man. It is a little bit heavy. So yeah, the seat itself got kind of destroyed, but I mean, it's still good. I'm not gonna change this chair until it works. Also, once a week, maybe once a month or something, it kind of the the piston uh, kind of stops working, and I need to raise the chair again. But it happens like very rarely, so it is still good enough. Daily exercise passed. Yes, it's not even daily exercise. It's Exercise for the next few months. Whew. Exercising and the sport is not a habit, it's a lifestyle. How can I get this game on PC? You have to get an Android emulator. You have to get an Android emulator. I'm using Mimo Player, you can get Blue Stacks, there's LD Player, there are a bunch of other emulators. Pick one that works best for you. Check them out, and uh, you can play on PC. Have you ever planned on streaming on Twitch? I have done some Twitch streams. I think I streamed on Twitch for every day for a few months or something, maybe for two or three months. Then I've streamed there occasionally, and now I just stream here. What emulator do you use? I use LD Player. I've literally just answered that question like three seconds ago. I use Mimo Player. The word of downloads come survival, it's on Steam. Okay, let's get here a spreadsheet for those three zombies. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Which is better, LD player or Mimo? Whichever works better for you. Uh, let's 
deal with this. Let's get that. What is your config PC to play Last on Earth? I mean, you can play Last on Earth on... I don't know. On a microwave. Okay, dealt with those zombies. And that's it. We're almost done with all the floors. That's it. We are done, guys, with the fourth floor. I don't think there's a single zombie left. We did it. Smash like, smash subscribe. And we absolutely did it. Let's activate that. You can even play it on a Pentium PC, maybe. I honestly don't know, I just wasted a first aid kit, but yeah. It's like, what electricity do you use to run the game better? I probably use, I don't even know what electricity we use here. Nuclear, probably. I have my own private nuclear plant to run Last and Earth Survival. I used to have a hydroelectric dam, but... Uh, I didn't like it. There was lots of maintenance in it, so now I just built my own private nuclear station. I got some uranium on eBay. And that's it. I run my own... Uh, nuclear power station. <laughs> Geothermal mixed with wind is best as Northern Zombie. Maybe. It's not really windy here. So it didn't really work well for me. I tried it. My contractor suggested me to use the geothermal and wind mix, but it didn't really work well for me. I settled on with the nuclear power plant. Okay, that's it. I think we are ready. I think we are absolutely ready. Bro sounds like he's the owner of Dark Web. What? I mean, I said eBay. <laughs> DarkEbay.com From the Dark Web eBay. Oh no, I've forgotten to give those parts to the specialist. There we go. Let's give that stuff to the specialist. How to gain more experience. You gotta clear Bunker Alpha. Also, make sure to check out my comments in the description of the comments. In the description, I have the frequently asked Last and Earth Survival question section. All, a lot of the questions are answered there. So make sure to skip through that. Skim through it. New mercenary characters coming to the settlements. Let's try for all with a bunch of happy hat faces. That is great. I want to actually make a poll here right now. Are you excited for the new mercenary Coming to LDOE for the new mercenary. For the new settlement. Uh. And, uh. And uh, I don't play LDOE. Wait, guys. So before I do this, I have a thing to show for you. Before I show that poll, uh, you'll see. Let's go in Discord here real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, buckaroos. Buckle up. Buckaroos, buckle up. Where's that folder? There we go, Last in Earth News. And season 38, let's say. Season, it's probably gonna be 39, whatever. Have an entire folder with a bunch of sneak peeks. And it is bloody lovely. Yo, Mia, thank you for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. Hello, good luck with the specialist. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. And yes, 
I'll need lots of luck. I mean, I don't expect to get anything good from him by recycling those blueprints, but I think it makes for a fun video. It'll be fun content. Mm. Where are the images? There we go. So, Mia, once again, thank you for the super chat. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. And I want to show you guys the sneak peek. It's like, show me the sneak peek. I want to see. Guys, calm down. I'll show you that sneak peek. There we go. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, boom. Developer said that only trust one who deserves it. G Genius Naomi and Dashing Dash will join the mercenary team in the upcoming update. So basically a new update is coming and they will add a new mercenary and boom now there is a poll in the chat so make sure to participate in this poll and the poll asks are you excited for the new settlement mercenary coming to last on earth yes i'm hyped nah lol i didn't know and i don't play last on earth survival so guys do you like it or you don't like it there we go it's like what is your opinion on it i'll say my opinion later Okay, let's go. Let's get out of here. Cyric, when are you when are you going to make a new free-to-play video? When we get a new update, perhaps when there's something new to show. When we get Bunker Alpha 2. We get a helicopter when we get Bunker Charlie. I don't know. It's like, do you shave your head? Yes. Actually, thanks for asking. I shaved my head about two days ago. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, let's go back to the base. Let's get a new armor and then let's get that all. Do you wax off your side hair? Do you wax off? Can you even wax your head? I don't even know if that's possible. I never thought of this. Can you wax your head? Typically, it is entirely safe to wax your head for hair removal. However, it will depend on your skin how your skin reacts to the chemicals in the product. I never tried waxing my head. And I don't think it will work to wax the hair. It has to be kind of long, isn't it? And I usually shave it when it's pretty short. So I don't think waxing would work. So yeah, waxing won't work on the head. Shave your head on stream. Oh, that's nice. That would be nice content. Sayak shaving his head. <laughs> 10 out of 10 content. It's like change your lights to pink now or something dangerous will happen. Are you threatening me? Did you just threaten me? That's epic. Um, we've just done the fourth floor. Wait, what other tasks we gotta do? We need to do this. We also had to get a C4. So maybe we'll need to go to the fourth floor to open up a red crate. Maybe we'll do that. There we go. Let's go back. Let's open up a red crate. I haven't opened it up in a long time. Then we have to raise three doggos. I never knew how to pronounce the dude name. Is it Kratos or Kratos? Kratos. Well, Kratos. It's probably Kratos. Kratos has waxed his head. I didn't know that. I didn't know that Kratos waxes his head. Kratos, huh? <laughs> permanently, permanently waxing my head. I've only grown two Duggos. I don't have any more Duggos to grow here. Unbelievable. Uh, it started lagging. And it's either we have uh, zombies attacking our base. Or... Or the game just lagged for no reason. Yeah, I think it just lagged for no reason, ladies and gentlemen. I know what happened there, but just Kratos. So his name is Kratos, not Kratos. 
Just Kratos. I have no idea. I've never seen anyone pronounce his name, so I have no idea how to pronounce Kratos. But it's probably Kratos. Maybe. In any case, the big, strong, bald dude from God of War. There's the dude. Okay, let's drop here a few guns. Actually, we don't need to go and open up the red crate. We have a C4 in our inbox. That'll work. Uh, I can drop a C uh, copper here. Let's drop some copper. Let's get rid of this stuff because I don't have space to keep this. Did you ever show your gaming setup? I've already said that many times I had. I have a video, a setup tour. Just type Psyx setup tour. Don't waste your C4s in the inbox. That's it, we're taking it out. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, let's talk to the Raiders. Let's do this and we are ready to go for the raid number two change the armor yes we also got to change the armor i think i tried changing it but then i forgot i searched for some tactical armor there we go i finally found it i bloody found it mate take dogs from the inbox right, guys we have enough dogs already i'm not raising doggos from the inbox stop it William says, loved all of your Dead Island 2 videos. Thank you for watching them. I'm glad you enjoyed them. And I absolutely loved Dead Island 2. It was, it was awesome. I loved it. Did you book your Bunker Alpha head tattoo yet? Uh, not yet. I apologize, but not yet. We have a hundred or oh no, the pickaxes. Didn't mean to get the pickaxes. One, two, there we go. Let's get those. After the live stream, I actually tried putting that bunker alpha tattoo on the forehead. Like I, I'm not even kidding. And it did work and it did look okay. Sadly I didn't save the picture. I should have saved the picture to show you. Maybe I wait, I maybe I saved it. Please tell me I took a screenshot of it. If I have the screenshot of it, I'll show it then. Bunker alpha tattoo on my forehead. I don't think I have it. Nope, I did not save it. What an idiot. I am a donut. I want you to see that you're using Big Hammer in Dead Island 2. I actually used it for maybe 10-15 minutes. I didn't show that in the video, but I did use it. I used it. Uh, my disappointment is immeasurable. My day has been ruined, says DA. It's fine. I've done it once. I can do it again. Maybe at the at the end of the live stream, I'll tattoo the Bunker Alpha tattoo on the forehead. Why, why do I keep going in and out of the base? I am lost today. Sarek, like you're always lost. Thank you. Thank you guys for the emotional support. Really cool. Really amazing. Can we expect a Resident Evil 4 live stream? Uh, that's a huge press X to doubt. Something has, ap uh, something has happened with the live streams. Like, they no longer work as they used to. And that has started happening not only to this channel, but to a lot of other channels that live stream. It's usually by 40 or 50%. YouTube pushes those live streams by 40 to 50% less. On some channels, it hasn't changed, but I've seen on a lot of channels that it has changed, so... 
Yeah, not a lot of people would have joined Resident Evil 4 live streams anyways, and now something happened to those live streams, so it'll be kind of pointless to live stream it. Maybe one day. I don't know. Can't promise anything. Okay, that's it. We are ready to go for the raid. Let's take a sip of water. And let's get that Psych, do you still give away backpacks? I've never given away a single backpack. Only at the very probably beginning when those backpacks came out, I've done 10 giveaways and that's it. As it's not up to me to give them away. And uh, let's go on YouTube. And let's get ready for another raid. Elder Year Raid Player 9963. Is it a great raid? Holy guacamole! What a ridiculous raid. That's it. I am absolutely ready. Do I have a C4? Yes, I already got a C4 for it. So let's go. And uh, yeah, we... You're excited for the new settlement mercenary coming to last on Earth. And 47% of you said that you're hyped for it. That's very nice. I'm happy for you guys. I'm glad that you're hyped for those mercenaries. Okay, let's drop a C4. So I have no idea if this second raid is gonna be any good. But we'll see. But we will absolutely see here. Nothing... Nothing. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. So, I mean, this base has lots of chests, but will I be able to open up all of them? Probably not, but we'll see. How come you can stack up to 70 items? Oh, we've gotten lots of iron. Because I have upgraded the racks. You can upgrade those racks. And then you can store more things in those racks. It's like a gun and a medkit. Medkit is one gun or one medkit. Obviously one gun, but if a gun or a stack of medkits, obviously stack of medkit. For those 8% who voted, I don't play this game. Why are you even in this live stream, says Darvel? Because not everybody has to play the game to enjoy the live stream. I watch a lot of other live streams that I don't play. I watch a lot of other streamers play games that I don't play myself because I'm just interested in the game or I'm just interested in what that person has to say. But I don't necessarily play every game that they play. So I don't see the problem, mate. Okay, we've gotten a bunch of pieces of cloth. Okay. Okay, nothing. A whole lot of goop. So yeah, with those pieces of cloth we can craft bandages, but we can't craft bandages here as we'll make noise. It's like, check your locker in Dead Island too. You got special weapons from completing chapters. For completing every chapter or for completing the entire game? Because I kept looking in that locker constantly. Like, as I said, each episode was around three hours long. So lots of stuff has been cut out there. So I've checked that locker at least, like, probably 20 times. I have gotten lots of weapons from those lockers. So I probably have already taken them. Unless we've gotten a weapon after we beat the game. Because I don't think I checked that locker after beating the game. Okay, so we'll try to soften some of these chests. Do you have to be a certain level to do raids? Yes, you have to be level 150 in order to raid. Mm. 
Do I really need that much iron? I mean, I'll get it. I will absolutely get it. Okay, so which of these chests has uh, the pieces of cloth? Okay, so this white chest. Basically, the this third chest. Okay, it's gonna have a bunch of pieces of cloth, so I'll come back and I'll get them. Do we have anything else here? Nope, and we still have six more chests to open up. Uh, some thick cloth, which is alright. I could probably take it. Bunch of batteries. We already have like probably a few hundred batteries in the base. So don't really need to take them yet. Tyke, please explain why the healer is not coming to my base. I have no idea. Like honestly, I have no idea. That's the question. Mm, that's the answer, not the question. That's the answer. Okay, so we're gonna craft a bunch of bandages now and then... And then we're gonna go back and I'll get even more pieces of cloth to craft even more bandages. It's like you got a powerful shotgun almost at the end of the game. A powerful shotgun. I think I have that powerful shotgun on me at the end of the game. I don't know. In any case, that boss fight took me quite a while. The last boss fight in Dead Island too took me, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes or something. That was very... It was very tough. I was very underleveled for that fight, probably. But we did it. We absolutely destroyed them. Okay, let's get a few more pieces of cloth here. That's a lot of bandages, dude. We kept crafting these bandages for a while. Only two stacks of bandages? I have never been more disappointed in my entire life. Let's go back there and let's get more bandages. Not giving up that easily. It's like, what to do when you are maxed on everything in Last and Earth? You can go outside and touch some grass, I guess. That is the best answer that I can give you. Okay, let's try to skedaddle from here again. Okay, my inventory is full again. Oh, we could delete this broken hatchet. Oh my god, sorry. Yes. I deleted the broken hatchet. Where's the quickest way to level up? Make sure to check out the description. There are lots of questions that I answer in the description. There's the frequently asked question section down there. Where there was a button like craft X10 or maybe craft X20. And this way we could craft more things instead of clicking them just one by one. But it is what it is. Will I go back and get some more pieces of cloth? I mean, we should probably do it. Why not? Why wouldn't we do it? Okay, let's get that. We've got an almost extra two stacks of bandages, which is kind of weird. But hey, let's go back inside. Hopefully I don't die. I don't have even full health. I'll die here right now. There's a huge chance that I'll die. Because it takes a while for us to spawn. Heal. There we go. We just healed. The dude does already hear a decent amount of damage. And my chopper is not even full yet. I should have dropped some stuff in the chopper. Yikes. Will you play Ark Survival again maybe one day? Especially when Ark Survival, the remake, comes out. It's like either remake or the next-gen version, whatever it's called. I think we're going to play it when it comes out. And then there is Ark Survival too. Maybe we'll play that one as well. I don't even know where in that Ark Survival remake's coming out. Does anyone know the release date? Did they say the release date? Where's your auto clicker? It's gone. It is gone. 
I have some the chat for the auto clicker. I can't craft it with the auto clicker. I have to manually click this craft button like a peasant. There we go. And then we have to go back and get even more bandages. I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, I am ready. My health is full. Almost full. There we go. Let's hop back inside. I don't think there will be Arc Remastered, but Arc 2 next year. What do you mean? I don't think there will be Arc Remastered. They have announced that there is Arc Remastered. That's why I'm saying it. They have announced Arc Remastered before they release Arc 2. So that's why I'm saying... Uh, Arc Remastered release... Or it's Remake. Arc Remake or Arc, Arc Remastered. August 2023. As you may have seen recently, the team behind the Arc games made two big announcements. The first one was a delay for Arc 2 until late 2024, and the other was a newer remaster for Arc Survival Evolved, coming out in August 2023. So we're gonna get a remaster. Not a re yeah, that's a remaster, yes. We'll get a remastered Arc in August. From what I know, also all the official servers in Arc will be discontinued. Also, that remastered Arc announcement has gotten some backlash as You'll have to rebuy the game. You'll have to rebuy all the expansions, all the DLCs and everything. And the main servers will close in the old arc. So they'll open new servers in arc, Rem in arc Remastered. So that's why some people were upset about it. But it is what it is. I'll be checking out the Remastered one in August. I want to see what's up. Have you ever played COD? Nope. But I do have PUBG. I wanted to make a video on PUBG. Is there a single person in the chat that'd be interested to see a PUBG livestream or a PUBG video? Because I have a list of ideas. Like every day I try to add like at least something to that list to what we could record, what we could livestream. So I'm thinking on actually doing a PUBG livestream or a video once. Not like a regular thing, but just for the memes. I haven't played PUBG in like years now. In years. In years. I'll watch it, says Lila Barrows. What? Maybe even at the end of the live stream will happen. But I kind of want to hop into Dead Island too. I want to hop everywhere. 12 hour live stream, guys, coming soon. But we'll play PUBG, we'll play Dead Island too, and we'll play Last in Earth, and we'll play, I don't know what else. Something else, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Oh my god, Sark! I'm kidding, there won't be a 12 hour live stream. But I'd like to do it. Maybe one day we'll do it for fun. It's in my idea in my idea list. So maybe we'll do it. Do you want to hop or drop kick into Dead Island? I want to drop kick into Dead Island too. Thank you for correcting me there, sir. Thank you. Um Tyrek, what do you think? Will Last Day on Earth ever come to Steam so it can be true crossplay game? Whoa. First of all, no, like, be, not being sarcastic, no, it's never gonna come there because Last on Earth is not a multiplayer game, so it can be crossplay if there is no multiplayer. It's just a single player game. So, no, it's never coming to Steam because it's a mobile game. So, hopefully, that answers the question. I need to get some wood, though, to craft some spears. But are we going to get a PC client? Maybe, because some of the other mobile games have PC clients. So maybe we'll get it one day, but it's probably not going to be on Steam. We'll just have to get it from the devs from their own website. Oh, let's 
craft probably more spears and then we'll delete the rest of those uh, the rest of the wood okay guys i think we know what we're gonna do now let's go and let's try to recycle some of these blueprints because i said we'll do this so we need to go and recycle those blueprints but hey maybe i'll go and talk to the raiders i want to see what kind of other tasks we need to do um the blind one so the third floor, I think we've already killed it. And then we need to clear the fourth floor that I've just cleared. So I don't know, maybe we'll do one more raid today. I don't know, I can't promise anything. What I can do though, is hop to the settlement. We also need to do some stuff in the settlement and we need to go to the motel to get more screws because I think I need four more stacks of screws in order to, or three more stacks or two more stacks. I don't know. I think I need three more stacks. I need three stacks in total, as I already have two stacks here. In any case, almost two stacks. I need lots of screws, that's it. I don't remember everything, but I think I need lots of screws for, for the settlement now. Okay, let's get ourselves a stack of planks. Psych, do you know the reason why Last Earth won't download on Memo Launcher? I don't have a slightest clue. I like Memo Launcher, but it's getting annoying. It gets, it asks for updates kind of frequently, and I don't know if you can actually disable updates. Maybe, I think maybe I've disabled them already, but maybe you cannot disable them, I don't know. Didn't bother. Let's get that, let's get a little bit of charcoal. I think we already have here a stack of charcoal or something, yes, we can get more. The more charcoal, the better, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready. Let's get roid into the news. How can you raid so much? I only saw like two bases that I could raid by doing tasks. Why there is an error on finalizing headquarters on Act 2 says show. You have to contact the developers and they'll let you know. And then, and then they'll let you know what's up. Text them. Hey, what's up? And they'll respond to you. The sky. Smash like, smash subscribe. For more mediocre jokes. We need to go back over here. We've gotten five of these light frames. We can drop the screws. And we need to get some more pine beams. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Last and Earth Survival. Okay, let's go back here. So we dropped another stack of these light frames. So yeah, I need 15 more stacks and uh, 15 more light frames and five light frames cost us five, uh, 20 screws. So we still need three stacks of screws and I already have one stack at the base, like one and a half stacks. I have no screws here left. Mm, yep. Yeah. Oh, and I, th yeah, we've already gotten the expedition things, but what I haven't gotten yet I haven't opened up the mercenaries. So let's open up the mercenaries here. Can I buy anything else? Nope, that's it. Let's open up those crates. We have gotten five diehard stripes and more daredevil stripes. Understandable. Can we upgrade Lemmy Maverick? Yes, we can. There go the dudes at level 20 now. He's at the max level. We cannot increase his rank because we don't have another one of those blueprints. That is sad. That is a little bit sad. Okay, so let's go back to the base and let's quickly go to the motel because we need to go there. We 
need to get some more screws. The more screws we get, the better. The faster I'll be able to build that garage. And you are ready for the garage, aren't you? You gotta be ready. UW says, hey, Sark, I'm so pumped to catch you two days in a row uh, during your, your stream. Hope you're having a great day. I'm having a great day. Hopefully you're having a great day as well. Can you take the gold chicken on an expedition? The... Oh, golf chick on the expedition for the memes. I mean, she's level one. Like, she'll get destroyed. Is that a meme? Like, she'd get just absolutely clapped. In... In seconds. My other mercenaries get destroyed in those expeditions now. So she doesn't even have stand a chance. So again, my quick opinion, right? I see 50% of people being hyped about the new uh, about the new mercenary, which again, that 50% number does, doesn't really say much as only like hardcore last and survival fans are playing the game. Like right now, developers might release nothing and those people will be happy with everything that they have here in the game. So those numbers are not really representative. They don't really represent the full community. But if I had to give my five cents on what I think about the new upcoming mercenary, hey, that's great, but it is very not interesting. As I don't have like probably half of the mercenaries. Like a lot of my mercenaries are not even upgraded because I don't have enough loot. I don't have enough tags to upgrade all of those mercenaries. So adding another mercenary that I'll never get and that I'll never upgrade doesn't really mean much to me. But hey, I'm happy to see that at least 50% of you here watching the live stream are excited about that new mercenary. That's great. That is great. I know that for me, I'll never get it. So, I mean, I can't be excited about something that I'll never have, right? Like, I'm never gonna- I'm never gonna get that mercenary. But hey, I'm glad that you guys are at least excited about it. Okay, we need to get stack of probably first aid kits and let's go... for the motel. Because there are lots of mercenaries, and what, each mercenary is useful for each different wave or something? And even if I get new mercenaries, you still have to upgrade those mercenaries. It's not like you get- you unlock a new mercenary and it's level like 50 all of a sudden, or level 20. It's still a low-level mercenary, so I need to upgrade those mercenaries. So why would I even want a new mercenary when I'd rather upgrade my current mercenaries that I have? So it's like, it's it's very weird. Kind of don't see the logic behind that. Um, that's it. Do I need a melee weapon? I think Glocks are enough. We don't need a melee weapon. Golf check. I mean, we have to upgrade her. To, for her to be usable, but that means I won't be upgrading other mercenaries, which probably all of them at level 20 are kind of the same mercenaries, maybe. I don't know. In any case, it is what it is. Uh, we need to go back to the... to the motel. It's like he's just a hater. You don't like anything about the settlement. I didn't say that. I just said that I'm not going to get those things, and I'm happy that you are enjoying the settlement. That's all I said. And I have unlocked some of those other, uh, other mercenaries, like that golf lady with the golf club. Then some one else, Rust and other things, but I can't upgrade them. Let's deal with that roaming zombie. Let's get the thing. So the reason why I am bringing this propane tank is just so that I could get a grenade. Because I need a free grenade. Don't upgrade. What, don't upgrade new mercenaries and play with them as level 1? You can't play as level 1. They'll get destroyed. What do you mean, don't upgrade? I don't get it. I don't understand. 
Or it's not about upgrading mercenaries, it's just about having them. It's about just unlocking that mercenary, even though you never use it. Like, it's just about having that mercenary. Don't upgrade the gold girl, she's trash. Yeah, I believe. Probably. There are only a few good mercenaries. I know Connor is good, Karma is good, and I have both of them, and then... I don't know, I'm sure maybe there are some other better, better mercenaries. Those are the two guys that I got. I'd rather have them running around with bunkers. Uh, I'd rather have them running around the bunkers with us, I agree. I wish they brought back the old mercenaries, but we're not getting that. We'll never get them back. Okay, nothing here. Oh, there's actually a chest. Some carrot stews. It's like I don't play scum anymore. Tomorrow there's gonna be a new scum survival video. There will be more scum. I do play scum. It's just that we had Dead Island too, and I wanted to finish that game. But there will be more scum survival. No worries. As I said, soon we will also start new series. Soon, like I don't know how soon. Depends on oh five screws. So it depends when we'll get a new update in scum survival. So yeah, because I know that we should get like 0 0.85 updates, so maybe around that time, once we get it, I'll start new series. Might be a bit shorter series, but as I said, I'll try to play Scum Survival without having any storage. So we'll play using like motorcycles, bicycles and whatnot. I won't be able to use vehicles. Like even maybe I'll be able to still use cars, but I won't be able to use the car's storage. Like I won't be able to use any storage with me. Only what I can carry on me, like my backpacks, my pockets, my, my paints and other stuff. So I'll try to play Scum Survival that way. Maybe it'll be fun. We'll see. Like, it'll be some sort of a challenge. But that's just an idea. Alright, so now let's try to bring back those screws to the base. So I think now we have two stacks. So I need just one more stack of screws. And then we can upgrade that settlement, that garage to level two. You missed that one chest, it's fine. It's fine. Yo, Los Morangas, welcome to the stream. It's been 84 years at least. Welcome, mate. When will you play any new survival games? Literally yesterday, we played Dead Island too. Uh, I'll drop those screws over here. Bam. Oh no, it's 19. We had 14 screws, not 15. Well, we almost have another stack of screws. That's good. We need more screws though. The more screws, the better. Okay, let's drop that stuff over here. And the nade. Where can we drop the nades? Okay, the nades fit over here and that stuff. Let's drop another bandage. Why don't you make more screws? You can't make more screws. To make screws, you need to build some other stuff in the in the thing, but that takes a lot of time, so. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of resources. By saying it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of resources. You'll have to play for months and months in order to unlock those other workbenches. And if I'll keep unlocking those workbenches, I won't be able to unlock my garage level 2 and I won't progress in the settlement. So either I unlock the garage and I progress in the settlement and eventually I can build more screws or I build the machines that build me screws, but I won't progress in the settlement. So I chose to work on the garage so that I could upgrade my zombie vehicle. That makes sense, Sayak. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. You are absolutely welcome.
and the new survival games are series. As I said, we've literally just finished playing Dead Island till yesterday, but yes, there are new games coming. Like new, new games, like new games that I haven't played yet. We will be playing Ancestors, The Humankind Odyssey. I already have two episodes on it. I don't know when it's coming out, but we will be playing that. And then I have some other random uh, survival games that we've made like one episode on them because like demos. So there's that. I keep running back and forth. Uh, oh yeah, we need to recycle all these blueprints, ladies and gentlemen. There goes the time to recycle the blueprints. I think the rest of the blueprints are in the inbox. Right, there we go. Then we'll take the rest of those blueprints. On dawn, June 30th, last and earth replacement coming soon. Maybe for some people it'll be last and earth replacement, but I doubt that it'll replace last and earth survival. As I said, everybody who didn't want to play last and earth survival has already left it. Like now we just have the core last and earth survival audience. Like there is no wrong update that developers could release. Like people will still like it. This game needs a rainfall. Hmm. I think they, there is rainfall and other stuff. They have added weather to the game, but it only works during like hunting something events. Probably, maybe, I don't know. We do have some sort of a hunting event in the calendar. And there is rain probably and thunder and other stuff. So I guess welcome to those that have just joined. We are gonna go and recycle the blueprints. Any hopes for the blueprints? Zero hopes because it I can't hope for something when I know that we won't get anything because they don't give you purple blueprints and I only don't have one blueprint. I only don't have my machete blueprint. So I know that I won't get here anything. The only reason why I'm recycling them because it's just fun to to watch. That's it. But it's absolutely pointless. I might as well just delete them to save the time. It'll be faster. Recycling them is absolutely pointless. It's probably the most pointless thing you can do, but I am still going to go and recycle everything. Okay, so let's drop these blueprints here now. Okay, that'll be a lot of those things. Holy moly, that's already at 19, 20, 22. 28, 30, 36, 40, 45. 46 blueprints, ladies and gentlemen. And you might be like, oh my god, we won't get anything from these blueprints. As I already said, you cannot get purple blueprints and I only need one purple machete blueprint. And we won't get it because the guy doesn't give you purple blueprints. So I know that I won't get it. So that's pretty much it. The only reason why I recycle those blueprints, as I said, because it's just fun to, to watch. But it would be just faster for me to delete these blueprints. But it'll be fun to open up those blueprints. Okay, let's drop more stuff. It's already at 50 blueprints. Can we have over 100 blueprints? Is that a thing? Maybe. Blip blop. Blip blop. All right, we are at 64 blueprints. And that's not it. We still have more blueprints. Also, I wanted to get rid of these blueprints from the inbox. Oh, plus we have 12 other mods here. What? I'll open them up right now. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, I had to get rid of these blueprints. Because we had a lot of them. So, yeah, we have to clean our inventory time to time. There we go, that's at 60 something now. Are we about to find that find that out? I mean to find what out? I don't understand. To find out that we'll get nothing here, then yes guys, you are about to find out that we'll get nothing there. We will get absolutely nothing. Okay, I have some of these blueprints. Okay, so let's open that up. I 
Okay, bunch of random blueprints. I mean, it's nice if you have some extra blueprints and you still don't have all the blueprints. It's not like there's anything you can do with these blueprints anyways. So you might as well just exchange them. Maybe you'll get something useful. But most of the time you just get gray blueprints and occasionally you do get a blue blueprint. Oh, wow. We still have more! It's not done yet! Look at this. It's a... It's an endless pit. It's an endless pit of these blueprints. Okay, let's drop some more stuff here. Okay. We're not giving up. There we go. At 94 blueprints. We're at 94. That's not done yet. We need more, ladies and gentlemen. More blueprints. Okay, are we done? Yes, that's it. We only have two more blueprints there. Sheesh. Okay, let's drop some more stuff. Okay, is it only at 99? Can it go over 99? Okay, at 100. There we go. It goes above that. Nice. There we go. There we go. 108 blueprints. It's sad to see so many blueprints go. I mean, I can't use them. If I could, I would let you guys take all of these blueprints. But yeah, as I said, I already have all of these blueprints. There's nothing I can do with these blueprints. Um, that's it. There's nothing else we can drop there. So let's drop the rest of these blueprints and let's start opening that stuff up. Let's take a bunch of these things and let's just open it up. So as you can see, we've gotten some blue but I haven't gotten a single purple, and we don't really need these blueprints. So let's drop them in. We need more. More blueprints. And now... Let's open these guys up. We haven't gotten a single... Okay, we've gotten a single blue blueprint. So after opening up a bunch of these other blueprints, we've gotten only one blue. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's 25, right? We can store 25 items here. So from 25 blueprints, we've only gotten one blue blueprint and the rest of these basic mods. Okay, here we've gotten one more blue blueprint. Yikes. I think we still should be able to get a purple blueprint here. Like at least one in 100 blueprints or something. Like there should be a slight chance of getting a purple blueprint. Because it is a little bit sad that we don't get a purple blueprint. Okay, more, more, more! There we go. We're almost done. I think we can open up now the rest of them. There we go. So that's it, guys. We've opened over 100 blueprints. 108? Some of you might know better. But yeah, we've opened up almost like 108 or something blueprints. They should improve this exchange. It's unfair to grind so much and get absolutely nothing. Wrong. Last on Earth is perfect. Stop it. Stop hating on the game. This game is flawless. There we go. That's it. So that's what we gotten, guys. We have gotten a bunch of these basic blueprints and I've exchanged all of them. That's it. The, at least my inventory is now emptier. So when I go here to these other resources, we don't have any more blueprints. So you know what? That's a W in my book. Let's say three more. No, that's it. We have three more blueprints. Wait, what? 
No, that's it. We are done. There are no more blueprints. Uh, there are no more blueprints. I've used up all of them. We got nothing left. We've used up all these blueprints, ladies and gents. We did it. We absolutely did it. That's messed up. It is what it is. That was the reason why I even saved those purple blueprints in the first place, because I hoped for what if one day developers release an update and we can exchange those purple blueprints for something else, but that has never happened. So I thought today's the day when we can actually go and recycle those blueprints. We did it. We have recycled all of those blueprints. All right, so I'll go back to the base. And I want to quickly go through some other chests. Maybe we have something. Sayak, why don't you play in the crater? Wait, actually, that's not. that wasn't the question. The question was, Sayak, why don't you play as a crater? I don't know. I don't want to be a crater. But why I don't play, why I don't play in the crater? Because I don't want to play in the crater. Nobody plays in the crater. Only three people play in the crater. Oh, no, we have some more blueprints. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not done. Our adventure is not over yet. Oh my god, Sayak, stop it. Do we go and drop those other blueprints? Do we do it? I mean... Do I keep them? I mean, we might as well just... I mean, the title says I recycled all of my blueprints. Then there will be that one dude. Oh my god, Sayak, you lied to me! You didn't recycle this last blueprint! Okay, I'll go recycle all of them. Because I recycled all of them. Yo, Careless, thanks for the super chat. The super chat says 108 blueprints. Yes, indeed. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. Welcome, welcome. 108 blueprints, smiley face. We got 108 blueprints. Thanks, mate. Oops, wrong button. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. That was the wrong button. Feeding the scammer with happy psychic. Only here, only right now, ladies and gentlemen. Only here, only right now. The scammer had to eat. And we fed him a little bit. It's sad to lose all of those blueprints. I didn't lose anything. I didn't need those blueprints. So I had to do something with them. We had to get rid of them. And hey, Careless, once again, thanks for the super chat, mate. Thank you, thank you. Is it worth it to buy Season Pass? Yes or not for new players? Happy Crike, says Zebra PRP. First of all, I'm not Crike. Second of all, it's not. I'm not a financial advisor. I can't advise you by buying those crates or not. It's up to you. And uh, third of all, you make what's worth it. If you want to see, if you like what you see here, if you want to get the loot here, and if you're already at the end of the season here and you want to get the loot, then buy it. If you don't want the loot, then don't buy it. It's pretty simple. Okay, we got nothing. However, if there was a creator code where you could use like Happy Cyric at the end of the purchase, then my answer would be like, hell yes, yeah, season pass is worth it. But all jokes aside, I don't know guys, it's all up to you. But title says recycled all, so yeah guys, we are gonna recycle all of that. Because the title says recycled all, so we are gonna recycle all the blueprints. And we have recycled all the blueprints, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We absolutely did it. You still left some in your inbox. Normal blueprints. No, we don't have anything in the inbox. What do you mean? What do you mean? There is nothing in the inbox. We don't have a single blueprint here. What are you talking about? There isn't a single blueprint here. That's it. We have all of them. What do you mean I still have some of them in the inbox? Why are you lying? Hmm? That's it. We have nothing else here, so... There's nothing left. Why didn't you just delete them? 
because it was more fun to recycle them. I made an entire video about it now. And it was interesting, I guess. I uh, know content. The reason why I didn't delete them? Content. That's literally the only reason. Still better than keep them in the base just to waste space. Fair enough. There's another thing that I kind of want to do, but at the same time, I don't know. I wanted to go to the laboratory and upgrade that... Uh, bioreactor thing, because we have a lot of these pipes, we have a lot of these uh, hydraulic parts and energy cells, but... I also think you need cement, so... Yeah, and I have zero cement, so I don't know if I want that. 12 more blueprints, Cyric. <laughs> but I don't... Oh, you mean... That right now we've just opened up 12, 12 more, more blueprints. blueprints Carrick, cheeky smiley face. Uh, careless. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Say we've just opened up 12 more blueprints. So in total, we have gotten 120 blueprints. What? 120 blueprints. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a lot of blueprints. That is bloody a lot of blueprints. Okay, let's bring that stuff here. And we haven't been here at the gas station for a while. I should have brought here. Oops, we got to go back to the base, guys. I made a mistake. Maybe we didn't make a mistake. It's fine. I wanted to go and upgrade the chopper a little bit because the chopper is still not at the max level. But maybe we have some stuff in the inbox, like a gas tank, which, which, which we should have. Maybe some chopper forks and other garbage. Let's give that to the mechanic because we still need to upgrade our bike. Let's go to spare parts. We got... Chopper wheel, a fork, and a gas tank. Yes. Let's give those things, and that's it. There's nothing else I can give. Okay. Okay, so I came here to use up these caps because we still have 1,000 or something caps, so I might as well just spin some of them because why not? You still left some in your inbox, normal blueprints. Nah, mate, you're just saying the same comment now for no reason. Uh, I need to... Wait, I... Oh my goodness, that dude... I forgot what I wanted to do. I wanted to check something out. Wait, do I have caps in the inbox? That's not what I wanted to check out, though. Where are my caps? Where are those caps? Consumables? Probably not. Spare parts? I don't know. I don't even know if I have any caps. Probably I have zero caps here. I wanted to check something out. I remembered. We gotta go to the supply event and see my supply event. Brain damage. Yeah. I mean, it's the second time I've read that comment even though I responded it because the guy's trying to bait me. So... I got some brain damage. And, uh, yeah, let's go over here. Let's go to the events and let's go to the supply one. And yeah, we still need 750 points to get the purple reward. You know what we might do? But we haven't done in a really long time. So, yeah, I want to do here some spins. And I'm thinking, ladies and gentlemen, just hear me out. How about we go to the dead island? No, wait, is it called Dead Island? It's actually called Dead Island. Isn't it? And we can open up... Uh, we can fight some zombies there and get that purple reward. We can go and fight, like, whatever that zombie is called. The witch? No, it's not the witch. I forgot how that dude is called, even. At the... At that Dead Island. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is called Dead Island. Say, so we can go to that Dead Island place. And we can fight a monster there, and we can get some points to open up that purple cargo. Lurker. Lurker something. Yes, it's a lurker. We can fight lurkers. Oh, 
Okay, will I get at least one jackpot? Because I'd like to get here at least one jackpot. There we go, we did it. We finally got a jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. We've gotten a jackpot, mate. Just boots. That's disgusting. That is actually disgusting. Okay, so as I said, let's go to that dead island. Let's find that lurker. And let's get the purple crate. Lurker. And zombie bear. Yes, we can also get the zombie bear. So this is the island, guys. Dead island. It is called Dead Island. What? Is it worth it to spin during the test your lock event? It's probably better to spin those caps during the test your lock event, but they kind of broke this event. Now you need to have an insane amount of caps in order to beat that event fully. So I don't know if anybody ever beats it. You need to have like thousands of those caps. 7k caps, 8k caps, I have no idea. Please, can you play Dead Island? Maybe at the end of the live stream. Can't promise anything uh, let's get a few AKs maybe even scars there we go just so that it's faster a few AKs more scars more the more the better that should be enough just for one dead island but if I die with all these scars there that'll scar me for life see what I did there and I don't want to be scarred for life. So hopefully I don't die with these scars there. That's it. We don't really need scars. We can just use AKs. Actually, instead of those scars. Wait, I want to get these AKs instead. And I want to drop some of the scars. There we go. That's a bit better. Let's upgrade some stuff. How to beat the witch easily. I always struggle with it. You need grenades. Or a grenade launcher. And you need guns. Just type... Cyric. Uh, I'll see if that video pops up. Uh, Happy Cyric, the witch. Happy Cyric, the witch. Yeah, that's it. Just type Happy Cyric, the witch. And there are videos. Literally everyone can do that. Kill the witch with no C4. That video is from three years ago and I'm still sure it's good. Or Happy Cyric, bosses. There's also a video, a video about that, I guess. Every boss in Last on Earth, yeah. You can also do that. That video has, it's from three years ago. 130,000 views. What? Say what? Is there a story behind the name? What name? I'm just curious. How did Darius become Cyric? Yes, there is a story about it. And I think it's answered in, in one of my Q&As or in one of my other stuff. I've answered that story already multiple times, so I'm sorry that I don't want to answer it again here because I've already answered it many times. And it's like a broken record at this point. But in one of my Q&As or in the setup tour video or something, I answer that thing. Okay, let's go to that dead island. If I die there, it is your fault. I'll blame you guys. So buckle up. Because I think I'll die because I died. I don't know how many times I died in this game. Zero times, right? But all jokes aside, like probably 50% of my deaths, maybe like even 80% of my deaths come from dead island. I've also died a decent amount of bun in Bunker Bravo. Okay, maybe like 30% of my deaths come from Bunker Bravo. Then maybe, I don't know. 60% of my deaths come from Dead Island. Because I died lots of times in Dead Island. Special like for epic dad jokes. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying those dad jokes. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go to the port. Hopefully I have some gasoline there. You also die internationally. Not intentionally, but internationally. Whoa. I've never heard anyone say that. And internationally. An international death, guys. I died internationally. What? How 
do you have unlimited supplies? What do you mean I have unlimited supplies? Most of the answers is Bunker Alpha and plus... Yeah, you can get loot from Bunker Alpha. But yeah, I've been playing this game for six years. So even if you don't want it, you'll get lots of loot in six years. Uh, laboratory. No, not laboratory. We gotta go on the boat. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta hope on this boat. I wish the boat was more cool. I just got such a genius idea. Imagine if you get the boat and you unlock some sort of a location like Bunker Alpha, right? Like right now, I keep telling you, hey, you gotta clear Bunker Alpha to profit. What if you unlock a similar location like Bunker Alpha once you, let's say, assemble your boat? Let's say with the boat, you'll be able to go to a special location like Bunker Alpha. Then the boat would be more interesting to build and you'd have like Bunker Alpha V2. It doesn't have to be exactly like Bunker Alpha. It doesn't have to give you exactly the same loot. But let's say you unlock like some sort of a hospital on an island. From that hospital, you can get first aid kits. It would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? And the same thing with ATV. What if around this place, we had like some sort of a location that would give you some more loot. And again, it would be worth it like Bunker Alpha. Like it would be... It... It doesn't necessarily have to be like a location that you can clear with melee weapons, but at least you have to get profit from it. A profitable location, because right now there's only like one profitable location in the game, basically Bunker Alpha. You can also profit a little bit from the Blackboard PD, but that's it. Other than that, you don't really profit anywhere. Besides the motel, like but we don't count that. Also, you can get some loot from the farm location, but it's not really a very profitable location. In any case, I don't even know what I was just talking about for the past, like, three seconds. But welcome, guys, to the Dead Island. Welcome. Devs are lazy and they don't listen. They just do some stuff that nobody asked for, says Nicola. You have here the poll and 50% of people are enjoying the new mercenary. So I guess that's a W. The new mercenary that's coming to the game. Probably not, not, none of us will get it, but people are still excited about it for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. So to answer your comment, I think devs know what they're doing because even when they release nothing, people are still happy. I guess. I don't know. Oh, almost died. Almost died! With all of these scars, that would have been sad. That would have been very sad. Listen, listen, it's good. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. It is nice to, it would be cool to get some new updates. Some new other stuff. I don't know. Okay, there's a lurker. I should have brought a melee weapon. We can deal with this lurker actually with a melee weapon. But yeah, for dealing with this lurker, we can get 150 of those points. That's the reason why I came here to the dead island because we can open up this purple crate here. There's actually actually one more cave and I want to go into that cave. Is there a bear? There's got to be a bear. No, there is no bear. Okay, so we didn't have a bear. We can skedaddle from this place then. Why is it dangerous here? I don't see the danger. I literally brought scars here. What do you mean it's not dangerous here? You forgot the manual earth drill. I'm not gonna drill here any titanium. I just came here to deal with the lurker and that's it. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna get some seaweed. Like these groaners, I try to kill them as fast as I can because they start spitting and when they spit you lose some health and you also lose your armor, so... That's not good after a few spits, you can lose your armor and then you can die. Then we need to deal here with this stormtrooper that has lots of... HP. Then we have a frenzy giant here. And then we have one more groaner up here. They'll spit at us. There goes. So it's not a hard place. Once you know what you're doing here, but still. You can kind of die quickly. But yeah, here we could deal with this lurker with just melee weapons. We could get rid of our armor and just attack this lurker with melee weapons. As lurker doesn't do lots of damage anyways. But I didn't bring any melee weapons. We've got 150 something more points. Uh, we need some more points. It is a little bit of waste of guns, but... Hey, we're doing it for the content. Extremely valuable cargo. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that's the reason why we even came here in the first place. Just to get this, ex this extremely rare cargo. We've gotten uh, two poppy treats. Hell yeah! Probably getting either steel plates or bunker alpha pills is better. Bunker bravo, like those anti-red pills, is a bit better. And there's also this bear. Again, we don't really need to fight it anymore, but I'll just get it for the means. So it's very easy to die from this bear because you bleed a lot. The bear does 30 damage, you do you get lots of bleeding damage. And it's kind of easy to die. Okay. Easy. It's like when will we play Day R Survival? I don't know if I'll ever play it, maybe one day. Perhaps, perhaps. I'll actually add it to the ideas right now. Might call me crazy, but I'll actually add it here. Video ideas. Uh, check out they are. There we go. It's like show me that list with video ideas. No, it is a very highly secretive list. It's a very secret list. But yeah, maybe one day I'll check out they are survival. But I doubt it. Probably not. It's like, how about some Clash of Clans and Clash Royale? Clash of Clans, for sure not, but maybe Clash Royale one day I'll make like another live stream for it. Like if one day I wake up and I feel like playing some Clash Royale, then maybe we'll do a Clash, Clash Royale right, live stream, as I've done quite a while ago. Out of curiosity, can the big one spawn here? In that place, I haven't seen the big one. So I don't think it's possible for the big one to spawn there. I'm like 99% sure it cannot spawn there. I just want to quickly hop in the port location and we have some seaweed, so I want to drop that seaweed there or I'll drop it in the crate in front of the port location, in front of the laboratory. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there we go. It does fit. Bloody lovely. And let's talk to the janitor. Let's see what the dude can sell us. Oh... This one actually is a bit better. But sorry, the ultimatum! This one is better. Thank you, janitor. Really cool. They are survival is awesome. So different from last on Earth. It's not much of a grind and probably easy to finish, but very cool. Would love to see you try if it's possible. Is it available on Steam or or somewhere else? Or is it just a solely mobile game? I've never said the word solely. Solely. Is it solely or solely? Solely. Oh, solely. It's just, there's just one L, solely. So it's a solely, if it's a solely mobile game, then I don't know if we'll play it, but if it's available maybe somewhere in Steam, maybe I'll check it out. 
Oh no, I'm out of... Out of gasolinium. Unbelievable. So what's your new game you're gonna play on the channel? Uh, Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey. That's the... New game that I haven't played yet. It's like there is a new game, Dead Island 2, you should buy it and you should play it. I've already played it and finished it on the channel here fully. We have already done that. It's like any horror games in mind. I know that Outlast... Uh, whatever it's called, Outlast Trials, right? Outlast 3, Outlast Trials, whatever that thing is coming out. Maybe we'll check it out. Uh, but I don't know. Ancestors is great, looking forward to it. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Check the in-game news. Q&A got answered. Oh, Lord, ladies and gentlemen. Are we about to read some Q&A? Are you excited, Bakaroos? Have you buckled up? If that's true, if they've answered all the Q&A, or only some of the Q&A que uh, questions got answered. Sheesh! We're gonna read all of that, guys, live together! Am I excited? Maybe. You'll get my live reaction to it. That'd be crazy. Oh, that's it? That's it? As promised, we post answers to your question. It's just the first part since we asked a whole uh, lot, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we've gotten only... A few answers here. Not all of them, but only a few of them. Okay, guys, so I still haven't read anything. Let me uh, copy these questions and we'll be able to read them very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. We will read the Q&A. Can you do a live stream on Dead Island? If yes, please, when? I don't know. One day we'll do it, but I'd love to do it, but we'll see. We will see. There are billions. What about this one? It's available on Steam. There are billions. Isn't it like a strategy game? It's probably cool, but strategy games won't perform well here on the channel. But I'd love to play it. Maybe one day we'll see. I've heard of They Are Billions. Um, Where is it? Last Day on Earth News. And there we go. Q&A 2023. Uh, part one. There we go. That's how I'll name it. Just so that I can find it later if I'll ever... If I ever want to find it. So first of all, yeah. Once again, guys. Developers, boom, are adding this new mercenary. But we kind of already know this. Extremely hyped for it. And boom. Now we have this thing to read. I haven't read it yet. So we will read it together, ladies and gentlemen. So hello, survivors. As promised, we post answers to your questions. It is just the first part since you asked a whole lot of great questions. Oh, this doesn't fit. And there we go. We are thankful to see you so actively involved in the last on Earth life. Looking forward to your comments. Question. Should we expect new pet variations, especially cats, horses, and new dog breeds? We intend to add a new dog breed. You've been waiting for very soon. We are considering the possibility of introducing other animals in the game down the road as well. Um, okay. Like, if my personal... Again, I'm just gonna read them, and I'm not gonna give any answers to that. That's it. Uh, looking at the map, we can see many blank spaces. Do you plan on introducing new locations to make the world richer? Yes, we're working on it, and uncharted territories are closer than they seem. Okay, so that's an interesting one. Looks like we're going to get some new locations. There are lots of blank spaces. And they'll add new locations. And Uncharted territories are closer than they seem. So that's cool. Maybe this year, perhaps, we'll get some new locations. I'm happy to hear that. That's good. That's actually a good answer. I like this one. Uh, do you plan on adding new mercenaries to the pool of the existing ones? <laughs> yes, we intend to regularly expand the roster of active mercenaries in the future. And one of them will be introduced in the game very soon. You can't do without some nice company in the zombie apocalypse. Again, I have nothing to comment on this one, as doesn't matter to me. Do you plan to replace the loading screen? 
Our players have been asking that question for a very long time and we're happy to respond with a definite yes. We'll update the loading screen very soon and we intend to do it regularly in the future. I think it's a very smart one. Like in Clash of Clans and in Clash Royale, you constantly get a new loading screen depending on an update, depending on an event. And we've had that old loading screen for a really long time and I think that we're supposed to change this loading screen a long time ago. It looks very outdated, it looks very old, the game seems... Uh, not polished and just... Eh, not like not polished, but the game seems... Stale with that old loading screen. But changing loading screens during like every few months, I think it's gonna be awesome. I actually like this one. It's a small update, like it doesn't change the game at all, but the game will feel a little bit different and I'll like it. I actually like this one. And uh, we have one more question. Uh, will the players have opportunities to get archived interior and decor items? What? Will the players have opportunities to get archived interior and decor items? Oh, so basically old ones. We often see your requests for that and we are considering this possibility. We'll have to take certain technical nuances into account, but we'll do everything we can. Okay. So that was the Q&A. That was the Q&A, ladies and gentlemen. So... Better than nothing, that's all I have to say. It was just part one. I'm interested to see what they'll answer in part two. And yeah, that was the Q&A. Extremely excited, guys! Whoa! Never been more hype! Whoa! Whoa! Uncharted territory is coming to the game, guys! New mercenaries! Excited. Decor, uh, decorative. Yes, I know what decor means. Thank you, Matthew Spellman. Thank you. I just, I was confused about the archived interior and decor items. Like, who refers to that stuff as archived? But I see it makes sense. Like, I don't know how else I would refer to them. But yeah, that makes sense. It took me quite a while. So, yeah, guys. Whoa! That is that is actually insane, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so excited about this. About this new cool stuff coming to the game. The new mercenaries are coming. That is ridiculous. I'm extremely hyped. Not as hyped as seeing Fernie being a member for five months, mate, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, mate. What you got if you want to recycle an ATV transmission? Best from Poland, dzień dobry. Dzień dobry, człowieku. Jestem rady ciebie widzieć tutaj. Thank you, thank you. And uh, let's actually see what we can do if we go and recycle an ATV transmission. I think I've already done that in the past once or twice, but we can do that again. Exactly, lol. Better than nothing. Not a very lots of interesting questions answered, unfortunately, says UW. I mean, I don't know, to be honest, like, I'd like to give more opinions about those questions, about that Q&A and other stuff, but... As I said, like, right now, a lot of the people that play Last and Earth Survival, there's nothing that developers can do that would make them wrong, right? That would wrong those players. Like, developers can release, like, an insane pay-to-win update and people will still like it, because, like, that's the core fan base of Last and Earth Survival, and... For me to say anything negative about it is like me pushing against the grain. So I have nothing to say about that Q&A. But it's kind of lame. Like, it's just better than nothing, right? It's cool, but none of the questions were answered. But it's just part one. And I kind of don't want to complain about it, so I have nothing to say. But it's cool. I'm actually most excited about the, the new loading screens. Like, that, I actually want to see that stuff. I actually want to see new loading screens. Because seeing that old, like, look at the Decoration? loading screen that we have here. PFF, are you kidding me? That's what the player's looking for. Decorations, are you kidding me? That's what the players are looking for. Maybe. Careless, thanks mate for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. As I said, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to complain about anything. I'm just here to play the game and that's it. Nobody likes complainers. Um, where's my ATV transmission? I had lots of them. Where are they now? Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there we go. I got eight ATV transmissions, so I can show you what happens when you recycle that stuff. Oh my god, sir, don't recycle it! We will recycle it. Fernie wanted to know, and we will recycle an ATV transmission for Fernie. So you can recycle it and get some steel, get some titanium, and some other stuff. So, it is kind of cool to recycle it, but... Yeah. It's not the first time that we recycle an ATV transmission. So yeah, again, I'm not saying that, uh, that... Q&A was bad. Like, I'm glad the developers did it. Like, I'm very happy that the developers did that q and I wish we could have more of those Q&As. It was nice. Right? 
was very good to have it. It's, uh, the last Q&A was like made five or something, like three years ago, not five, maybe like three years ago. And we waited three years for this. Like, is it worth it? I don't know if let's say they were doing Q&As every month, then for a monthly Q&A, these answers were good. You know what I mean? For a monthly Q&A, it was fine. But for a, like a three year old, for a, if we had to wait for three years for this Q&A, it's kind of eh. But again, it's just part one. We'll have to wait for part two. In any case, Sarek, you're just a hater. You don't like anything. Okay, Boomer. Okay, Boomer. He's here to complain and make us cry. Don't believe his lies. Okay, Boomer. As I said, I'm glad that they've done that q and I'm excited actually about the loading screens because these current loading screens are kind of meh. Would be cool to see some... Some, some different loading screens. I'm actually excited about that. Maybe the, the word excited is not like the right one. Well, I'm interested to see the new loading screens. Also, they said that some new locations are coming to the game. When did they say exactly? Uh... Oh, uh, closer than they seem. So cool, we're gonna get some new locations. I'm also interested to see that stuff. So some of the answers were interesting. But that's exactly what I expected from that Q&A. When they announced that they'll do a Q&A, that's what I thought that they'll answer. And uh, I went outside for something. I wanted to jump something somewhere and I don't know. I absolutely don't know when what I wanted to show. I had I wanted to go outside and talk about something. Oh, the loading screen! Look at this. That's the loading screen, guys. I mean, it could be a bit better. So yeah, I'm excited to see some new colorful loading screens, and uh, also probably the lo uh, the loading screen you load in the game when you open the game. Say so maybe they'll change that. It's good. It's fine. It's fine, I have nothing bad to say about it. Bunker Charlie, you want to see is... Bunker Charlie on the loading screen. That would be puggers. That would be absolutely puggers. I guess, what are your thoughts? On the Q&A, what do you think? Of that Q&A? Depict some softball questions. I mean, they always pick those kind of questions. I mean, they're not gonna answer. Will we get a helicopter? Will we get... Bunker Charlie? To be honest, wait a second. I wanna go quickly on Discord and I wanna see how many people asked about the helicopter or Bunker Charlie. You might be like, sorry, how can you see this? I think we can go here. Do we even have that Q&A? Have they closed it? Oh, there's still the Q&A section here. Okay. So in... That's only on Discord. In QA session, I don't even know how many people asked in total. Only 207 people asked questions? I don't believe that there's no way. Okay, so it looks like there's only 207 people that have asked questions. Uh, eight people mentioned the helicopter. And nobody mentioned the... Mentioned Bunker Charlie. Okay, so eight people mentioned Charlie and eight people mentioned the helicopter. That's it. Understandable. In any case. The same questions once per Q&A. Wait, do we have some older Q&As? Uh, Cyric, LDOE Q&A. I don't even know if we have older Q&As, maybe. To show you what kind of Q&As we had in the past, I don't know. If I could search for that stuff, maybe we could find it, but... Yeah, I don't know. In any case, as I said, it's fine. Anyone mention horses? Uh, that's actually a good one. I mean, again, they probably also took some questions from Facebook and other stuff.
four people mentioned horses. People actually want... I mean, four people wanted horses. Horses, cats, somebody mentioned cats. Seven people mentioned cats. Okay. So, as I said, it's fine, right? I don't mind that Q&A. It is what it is. The Q&A is the Q&A. That's what I expected them to answer. They've probably answered more than I actually even expected them to answer, so... That's it. Can we see your weapon mods? Maybe you miss more than just one purple blueprint. I miss only that one purple blueprint, but thank you for worrying, mate. Uh, missing only one purple blueprint. So yeah. Uh, I think we will be wrapping it up. As I said, I don't mind that Q&A was great. The best Q&A that I've ever seen, and that's it. I said, don't want to sound like a hater. Like, there's not much to say. Uh, so I will be probably wrapping it up. When we, when will you live stream some Dead Island too? I wanted to live stream it today. But yeah, I don't know. I think we will be wrapping it up. Maybe before we wrap it up, we're going to go on GeoGuessr. Because that's what we do, right? GeoGuessr, baby. Let's travel around the world. Geo Guesser. Hell yeah. We are in Geo Guesser, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to battle real distance. And uh Let's go for it. Have you assembled all the mods? No, I haven't assembled all the mods because it's not really worth it to assemble all the mods. There's lots of mods are go. I want the I want submarine at the port. That would be cool. And I'm actually surprised that only 200 people left Q and A's Q and A questions. I thought on Discord. I thought there'll be more. At least a few thousand. Like 207 people. That's yeah. Okay, where are we, ladies and gentlemen? Don't have the slightest clue. Okay, there we go. We'll see. Is it somewhere? Zohar. Is that somewhere in Africa? Maybe. Okay, lots of people started guessing. Look at this. Everybody started guessing at the same time. What is this? Well, I'm going around here. It's around that spot. Okay, yeah, that just as I said, it's around like here, this thing. We did it. Nice guess. Um, there were lots of text behind us. Should have probably looked at it um, so we are probably somewhere in Japan here but it doesn't look like Japan is it somewhere in Japan red planet what so it's like Japan but it's not Japan so I don't know what it is Um, sail, lease. Uh, city of Manila. Philippines. I'm going for Philippines. That was Philippines, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute genius! 
An absolute genius, ladies and gentlemen. You get more than 207 questions in one stream. Yep. In any case, it is what it is. Looks like those questions were maybe filtered. I don't know, but there are only 207 questions. But also, they, they had lots of questions probably on Facebook and other stuff. On Twitter, maybe. Oriavitas Vatel Elades. What is this place? Um. Zona. Bush. Buses. Is it Ireland? It's like... No, it's not Ireland flag. Bro, where are we? Like, I honestly don't have a clue where we are. Well, it's not Ireland. I'm I'm gonna be... I'm almost on the last spot. I'll get knocked out. I'll probably get knocked out. It's not definitely not Ireland. I don't know why I chose that stuff. It was a horrible guess. It was a terrible guess. I deserve to be knocked out for that guess. Like, it is actually a terrible guess. Like, I actually deserve to be... To be knocked out. That was like, what? Not Austria. What, what was it even? I didn't even see. I'm an idiot. It was below Slovakia. Which one was it? I don't know. Is it Japan? Cars look kind of Japanese. Definitely, that's got to be Japan, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It is Japan. I'm like 90% positive it's Japan. You know, like those uh, memes or something? You show a picture to AI and they'll be like, hey, like 90% dog, like 3% bear, like 5% cat. Like, that's what it might be. So for me right now, it's 90% Japan. Where, though? I don't know. I'll go around Tokyo. Can't go wrong with Tokyo. Okay. Not the first, not the last. And it was here-ish. Close to Nagoya. Good enough guess. Somebody guessed there. Haha. <laughs> Noob. Whoa. Where are we here? Um, obviously somewhere in Europe. Well, that's easy. Um, around Poland, maybe. Okay, there was something. Okay, it's not around Poland. Ludberg Skole. Ribe Braming. Landberg Skole. So I'd say that it's around maybe Sweden, Finland, Denmark. I'd go Denmark, Sweden, probably even. Maybe Estonia, Finland. So that's where it could be. Might be Estonia. So yeah, I'm going there. Be I'm on the last spot. No! I got knocked out! No! It was Denmark! Guys, I told you that it might be Denmark. I should have just stayed on Denmark. God dang us! But I was kind of right, wasn't I? I was looking at the right spot. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what it's all about. It's at least being around the circle. I knew that it's gotta be there. Should have just chosen Denmark and that's it. My first guess was Denmark. But then I went a little bit there because I was like, it might be also Finland, might be Estonia. So I thought, you know what, I'll go in the middle and it'll cover like uh, some of those other locations. And I'm still close to Denmark. Should have just gotten Denmark. They say more. I can't go more. That's it. We have to wait, guys. I can't do more. So... I mean, we can still play, we can still look, and we can still guess where that is. I mean, I'd probably guess somewhere around Asia. Okay, I would have probably failed that one. I'm playing a guess 
sweats here. I mean, we can still play. We can spectate, but we can still play, kind of, right? Yes. Absolutely. Public kitchen. Poggers. You were knocked out. Does it really have to say that thing at the bottom that I'm knocked out? I know that I'm knocked out. I know that. So show you exactly where I'd put it. Because I have an idea where I'd put it. On the map. I'd put it around here, probably in the middle. Boom. I'd put that in the very middle. Would I be closer to that dude? Yeah, I'd be closer than this guy, so I wouldn't have gotten knocked out. But that's where I'd place it. In Saudi Arabia, that's where I'd place that stuff. And here again, I have no clue. You can win yourself. Yes, indeed. It doesn't matter that the game told me that I lost. I can still win. We can still win, ladies and gentlemen. Somewhere maybe in Malaysia, maybe... I mean, it's not Thailand for sure, I guess. I don't know why for sure. There's something written there. Actually, I maybe go somewhere in Africa. Somewhere in Ghana, maybe. I don't know. I would have chosen this. As I said, guys, I would have chosen that one. So I would have gotten knocked out anyways. Because, yeah, all of them knew where that is. But I would have chosen here, so I would have gotten knocked out anyways. Yikes. I'm playing against cheaters, guys. Those guys are cheating. They're absolutely cheating. Um. And I don't have a slightest clue where we are located here. Don't even have a slightest clue. I don't even know where I'd still choose. Oh, that's Russia, Russian stuff here. Uh, in Belgium? There's no way I would have... Oh, that wasn't Belgium. That was all the way here. Well, I don't know what I would have chosen, honestly. Didn't look enough at the map. But I definitely wouldn't have guessed here. So yeah, we'll have to probably wrap it up, guys. We did it. I was very confused. I had no idea where that is. I only saw this thing at the very end, so... I'd probably choose something here-ish. Maybe here-ish. So I would have gotten knocked out completely. But yeah. Yo, Ladybug, thanks for being a member for 29 months. Thanks here. Uh, thanks for being here. I'm glad to see that everything's all right. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Sark. Just checking in. Taking a break from last on Earth. That's why you haven't seen me here. Miss you, though. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm glad to hear that you're all right. And totally understandable. Thanks for being here. And, uh, yeah. We will be wrapping it up right now. We've done some stuff in last on Earth. We have recycled some goop. We have checked out the Q&A. And uh, that's it. We are ready to wrap it up guys so yeah thanks for joining see you tomorrow with another video see you tomorrow with another tomorrow's probably scum survival video so yeah guys see you later or maybe tomorrow there's a live stream i don't know we'll see probably there's
there is a video. So take care, guys, and see you later, alligator. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining.